everybody. I'm Lisa and behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Bill Lisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we are heading into Disney California Adventure. We are going to show you 10 really fun things that you can do in Disney California Adventure that aren't rides. It seems like everyone comes to amusement parks just for the rides, but there are some hidden gems inside Disney California Adventure that you need to know about. Let's get started. Number one on our list, in no particular order of things to do in Disney California Adventure is right here on Buena Vista Street. Behind me you will see the citizens of Buena Vista. They are out roaming throughout the day. You can stop and talk to them. They plan fun games to play with the kids. And if you come to Disney California Adventure right when you walk through the gates, you need to start looking for them. Donna is always so much fun to talk to with her little friend and dog, Lady. And then there's Fifi, the photographer. She loves to share her adventures with you of where she's recently visited around the world taking amazing photos. They are a hoot, they are so much fun. And as you can see behind me, they're having a great time with people here in the park. California Adventure that are non-rides is the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. This area is two and a half acres of land and it is so much fun, so interactive. There are trails, there are tunnels, there are so many cool things to do. You can go across bridges. If you look down as you walk through the trails, you will see little footprints of different animals in the area that you would find out in what you would consider to be a redwood trail somewhere out in the forest. This place, everywhere you look, is really exquisite. From the lights that hang to all of the pieces that you can see behind the railings, it's really, really wonderful. Let's go check some things out. Inside this area, you'll also find an amphitheater where rangers will come in and talk to you and teach the children and your family things about safety in the forest. When you come into the Redwood Creek Trail, they used to have maps and little guidebooks that you would get, but I did just find out that they are now only doing that at Christmas time. So if you do find yourself over here at Christmas time, make sure you get one because they're really cool. As you can see, there are bridges that you can cross, ropes you can climb on, and there are levels up above, down below. It's really interactive and really fun and good exercise. Okay. Number three on our list of things to do in Disney California Adventure that are not rides is the show that can be seen out here at Paradise Gardens. The show that is currently showing right now is the Celebration of Coco. They do have different things and different themes in this area throughout the year, but if you get here between now and November 3rd, you definitely should head out here to see the Celebration of Coco. It is an amazing performance with music and dancing, and there is even a special appearance by Miguel. He comes out, he shows how shy he is, but then he steps right up and plays his guitar. And this is definitely number three on our list of things that you should see if you come to Disney California Adventure that's not a ride. Carnival comes to town is to play games and win prizes. It is always so much fun to win that giant stuffed animal that then you have to carry around the whole day. Number four on our list here in Disney California Adventure is the Pixar Pier game booths. Of course you couldn't expect that Disney California Adventure would let you down on any of your wants and needs and who doesn't love Carnival game booths? All of these game booths are Pixar Pal style 
but they all are set up as if you were at a real life carnival. And all of the stuffed toys that you get to choose from and win, if you win your game, are Pixar Pals and they are so great. Number five on the list of things to do in Disney California Adventure that are not rides is the bakery tour. It is on the Pacific Wharf and the bakery tour is a lot of fun. You actually can see how San Francisco sourdough bread is made in the Bowden Bakery. It is an actual real working bakery inside here. You can tour it and you can watch the chefs in there actually make bread as well as when you walk through the door, there is a cast member standing there ready to hand you a delicious slice of fresh baked sourdough bread that has been made right here in this bakery. This is a can't miss attraction that you must see that's not a ride. in Disney California Adventure that are not rides. It is right here in Hollywood Land and it is the Animation Academy. You can head inside and you can learn to draw your favorite character. There is a cast member that sits at the front of the class per se and they teach you step by step how to draw Disney characters. This time of year is Halloween so all of the characters they're drawing are from the Nightmare Before Christmas. So they are drawing Jack Skellington, Sally, the mayor, Zero, and Ladies it and is gentlemen, so much fun to learn. The next show was about to start at the Animation Academy, where you can learn to draw the Disney characters. Gee, that sounds kind of tough. Well, Mickey, with the help of a real Disney artist, it'll be easy and a lot of fun. Oh boy, save a seat for me, huh? <laughs> Turtle Talk with Crush is just about to begin. <laughs> no worries. I'm on my way. How about you, today? Absolutely. Righteous. Tubular. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, you're totally talking like a turtle. Number seven on the list of things to do in Disney California Adventure that are not rides is also here in Hollywood Land, right next to the Animation Academy, and it is Turtle Talk with Crush. You get to go in and have an interactive experience with Crush, and he actually answers your questions, asks you questions. Kids get to sit up front and be up front and personal with Crush and get to have an amazing experience. You get to learn all about turtle life under the sea, and it is really, really fun to get to know this special character from Finding Nemo. Number eight on the list is here in Hollywood Land as well at the Hyperion Theater. It is the Frozen Show. There are three shows daily and it is a live action theatrical experience. It is the movie Frozen, but it is acted out by the most amazing actors, actresses, singers you could ever imagine. People will go into the Pantages Theater all over the world, especially into New York City to see this type of show. It is a theatrical masterpiece. This is worth the price of a ticket into Disney California Adventure alone, but they allow you to experience the entire park as well. So make sure to plan ahead because you do have to get here at least 30 minutes ahead of time to make sure you get the seat you want. But this show is worth the wait. Make sure you schedule this in to your day here at Disney California Adventure. Number nine on the list of things to do in Disney California Adventure that are not rides is in Hollywood Land as well. If you head back to Hollywood Studios, you can meet some of your favorite Marvel characters like Spider-Man. During certain times of the day, you can also meet Captain America, Captain Marvel, and Black Panther. You can go right up, you can get their autograph, get your picture taken with them. It's a really fun experience, especially for the kids. Number 10 on the list of things you can do in Disney California Adventure that are not rides 
is right here in Hollywood Land as well at the Disney Theater, and it is the Disney Junior Dance Party. Now, while you may hear that title and think, well, that's only for kids, I have a different answer for you. This show is for all of us adults that are still kids at heart. It is so much fun not only to watch the show, but to watch the kids dance and interact with the characters. They're so excited to see Vampirina come right up on stage and teach them a special spooktacular dance. They love this show, they get so involved, and it is really, really fun for adults as well. If you have small children, I highly recommend this for them as well because it is amazing. They make it snow, there are bubbles, and there are streamers that go throughout the theater. But you adults out there that come here without children can sit in the back in a nice, cool, relaxing atmosphere until the dance party starts and you are gonna love every minute of it.